tell you what, I'll make you like me first, and then I'll do the stuff that makes you feel like he's a bit weird. <laughs> so, um, so this is the one where I, I hope you like me. It's a little journey, and um, I've done it many times before, and it's a, I'll, I'll just, because what I'm trying to do is like, what, I'm trying to rhyme the passage of time and tell you the journey of Miss McInerney. How after a while, on a trip down the aisle, she became Mrs. Chamberlain. I'll begin as I do at the beginning, when boys turn to girls and men turn to women. Strange desires will up inside and they are not scared of the word bride. Don't be surprised, don't be afraid, this was the time before you were made. When gentlemen didn't mean bog, and being a lady wasn't such a hard slog. Manners were better, people politer, children were good and much fucking quieter. Joseph and Nora, yes those were their names, didn't know squat about video games. When she was little, she played hoop and stick. When he was little, he thought cricket was quick. Are you getting the idea of understanding the score or should I continue to compare us some more? These two didn't hook up by chance. They met every week at their local dance. They talked very little and danced quite a lot and I'm sure at times it got pretty hot. I mean in the summer and under the lights, not in his pants or in her tights. This was a time of courting and wooing, not like now with all the throwing and tooing. When passion was something that just had to wait and kisses were exchanged at her garden gate. Joseph was gentle and Joseph was kind. Nora was patient, she didn't mind. Nora would laugh at the jokes Joseph told, and ever so slightly, Joseph grew bold. Nora would blush with her hands to her breast, and Joseph would imagine the rest. Soon came a time when they were beating the day for tears, her parents would probably say, a quiet affair when fathers decide whether their daughters can become brides. Would he let Joseph take Nora away? He wasn't after all the one with the say. It isn't like now in Britain today where all fathers do is pay. If they can be found that they have thousands of pounds, their involvement is clear. Don't drink the whiskey, stick to the beer. Well, father approved and shook Joseph's hand and our couple saved and they planned and as soon as you like the big day arrived and Joseph wondered how he survived the night he'd spent with his betrothed so very close but still fully clothed. Nora felt it as well, but by her demeanour you couldn't tell. Her mother, who loved her, had said that it hurt, so Nora had good reason to keep being curt. But Joseph was gentle and Joseph was kind. And when Nora looked at his eyes, she would find love and affection, a sense of protection and warmth from within. She knew what they had wasn't a sin. So she held Joseph close with a big Cheshire grin. The church was full. The priest at his altar. Joseph prayed that he wouldn't falter. A choir came down as the organ began. The doors opened wide and let in the sun. And Joseph turned to look at his bride. And Joseph's face filled up with pride. As father and daughter walked down the aisle. Smiling, Joe Chamberlain started to smile. And that's what it's like inside my head. The day my grandparents went. 